thoughts on so many things as her life was so tragically cut short. I wonder what she would have thought about the technological revolutions of the past decades. Anne had two ways to learn about the outside world, one traditional and one technological, a window and a radio. The family radio was the most technologically advanced way at the time to get news and information. Anne wrote on June 15, 1943, that radios were being confiscated. She wrote, as the reports from the outside grow worse and worse, the radio, with its wondrous voice, helps us not to lose heart and to keep telling ourselves, cheer up, keep your spirits high, things are bound to get better. Technology has always been at the forefront of giving us information, but also bringing people together. From radio and then television and computers to the internet and smartphones. Today, here at this exhibit, the technology of today is going to bring you a piece of Anne's world. It will bring you a glimpse into the window panes that brought Anne her view of the sky and the chestnut tree of which Anne wrote, as long as this exists, I cannot be sad. Merging technology into our understanding of history is not easy, especially when the history we are learning about is one of such a serious and sensitive subject is why it is so impressive that this museum has worked so tirelessly to find the right match of technology and innovation alongside education and historical memory. 